In the previous lectures, we have seen on the positive clipper how it works. I will uh, briefly explain. So we have to remember two blind rules for a diode. So diode is a two-terminal device. So anode and cathode. So what is the rules? We'll go with some detail. So it will have two terminals that is VA and VK. I am assuming if if it is ideal case, VA should be greater than VK. Then the diode is in forward bias. That is generally we say on condition. So equivalent model is simply a short circuit. Now if VA is less than VK, diode is reverse bias. So that means off. So equivalent model is simply off. I mean open circuit so this is your short circuit this is open circuit now if this is a practical diode so what we need to do is the voltage difference between this VA and VK should be greater than 0.7 that means VA minus VK that is the voltage difference should be greater than 0.7 volt or we can say VAK should be greater than 0.7 volt so this 0.7 volt is for only silicon diode if it is a germanium diode it should be greater than 0.3 volt or some textbook they follow 0.2 volts also if this is for germanium semiconductor right we know these two for ideal case these two conditions if it is a practical condition this is the one so this is for on condition so in on condition the practical diode behaves like a, a DC voltage source like a 0.7 volt this is the equivalent in on condition if VA minus VK is less than 0.7 volt for silicon diode the diode will be off and it will behave simply like a open circuit so these two ideal cases we need to remember and this is the two practical cases we need to remember once you know this so we can give or we can design any positive clipper or negative clipper now we'll see the positive clipper positive clipper circuit with some reference level some with a reference voltage so that is called generally the positive clip clipper with biasing or biased clipper so in the previous lectures I told you how to uh, work with the positive clipper now we will see when there is a diode on it is it is biased with a some positive reference so I am assuming this positive reference has 2 volt this is ground and here I am taking the V out here I am applying the V in which is having input peak to peak as 10 volt so this is I am assuming V in right and uh, the resistance is 1 kilo ohm and this diode so if it is a silicon diode so first, first we will uh, go with the ideal cases then we will see the practical conditions also <coughs> now you may ask sir uh, I mean why the 1 kilo ohm resistance only why not greater than this or why not less than this so this resistance is used for to protect the diode from the supply changes so we cannot directly give the supply to the diode so it may burn or it may damage so that is the reason why you are keeping some resistance value if you if you keep very high resistance value we need to provide so much voltage at the input side to make this diode as a forward bias because if you give so much high resistance the may voltage drop across the resistor will be high so nothing will be transferred to this diode so it may not on so for that reason the resistance should be low but it cannot be as low as like a 1 ohm or a 0 ohm so it may burn so it should be some optimized version optimized resistance it may be 1 kilo it may be 2 kilo also we can give if you keep on increasing the resistance we need to apply more voltage at the input side 
so that is the reason why we are choosing this 1 kilo ohm resistance right now we will see the operation so in the previous uh, lectures I told you the two conditions so find first what is this voltage that is anode voltage and find what is this voltage cathode by how simply open the diode that is 1 kilo ohm diode is open to find a V and VK so this is here where I am giving V in now if you see this VA is connected to directly V in so VA will become V in but VK is connected to these two volts so that's why this VK will become two volts now we know the two conditions that is first condition for forward bias VA should be greater than VK for ideal diode first we will see the ideal then we will see the practical one now VA is what V in so VK is what 2 that means V in when the it is greater than 2 volt the diode will be on or, some, or we can say forward bias so that is the equivalent model simply short circuit right now we will see the circuit how it will behave so 1 kilo ohm short circuit the diode and simply 2 volt is the volt so here I applied only greater than 2 volt so like this positive half cycle I am applying that is 5 volt positive half cycle only now if you see even though if you apply positive half cycle greater than 2 volts also but the output you are getting the V out is equal to 2 volts only because this is short circuit so the parallel voltage will be only 2 volt so where is the remaining one is is up, uh, what you call dissipated or the drop across the 1 kilo ohm resistance is the remaining now so that is the meaning when V in is greater than 2 volts the output will be at 2 volt only so it may be 3 volt input but you will get only 2 volts at the output side even the V in is equal to 5 volt but V out will be only 2 volts now we will see when we apply the negative half cycle so in the negative half cycle so when you apply the negative half cycle minus 5 volt so 2 volt so what is VA it is now negative value and VK is a 2 volt which is positive so what is the condition here V in is less than 2 volt or V in is less than 2 volt it may be 1 it may be 0 it may be minus 1 it may be minus 2 it may be up to minus 5 the diode will be open circuit or we can say it's a reverse bias because anode voltage is less than the cathode voltage that is VA is less than VK so VK is 2 volt VA is V in so that means V and V in is less than 2 diode will be reverse bias or off so in that case circuit will become like this 1 kilo ohm so it's open circuit this is 2 volt so this is the this is 2 volt 0 minus 5 so in this case what is the output you will get so anyway this is open circuit so this path will be gone so directly when the parallel be the output will become the as input or we can say like this so up to from 2 volt to 2 minus 5 we will get the output now, you see, now it is very very easy to draw the output waveform generally so many I uh, mean so many uh, students will confuse how to draw the the clipper outputs so this is V in this is V out now what is the reference voltage so we are assuming this is a 2 volt so greater than 2 volt and less than 2 volt we got already whenever greater than 2 volt we got V out is equal to simply 2 volts so whenever this is happening so we will fix it to that 2 volts only whenever it is less than 2 volt you will get the whole negative waveform and plus up to 2 volts also so this is like this it is fixed 2 volt then minus up to minus 5 2 volt. so this is how to draw a positive clipper with a biased voltage or simply a reference voltage next video we will see
the practical dimension on the how to